Now that we have collected enough things, we can go to the recycle centre. Hooray! Let's go! Mummy Pig has the bottles. Pepper has the tin cans. And George has the newspapers. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then let's go! <laughs> this is Miss Rabbit's Recycle Centre. We're here! Hooray! Hello there! Hello, Miss Rabbit! Have you come to do some recycling? Yes, we have. Jolly good! Carry on! What's Miss Rabbit doing? She's recycling all the rusty old cars. Who can tell me which bin the bottles go in? The green one. That's right. And the cans go in the blue one. Well done, Pepper. <laughs> George wants to recycle the newspapers. OK, George, you can do the newspapers. <laughs> <laughs> there. That's enough recycling for one day. Yes. Let's go home. This seed will grow into a lovely strawberry plant. First, make a little hole. Then I put the seed in and cover it with earth. Shall I water it for you? No, no. I want to water it. Good. Now we wait for it to grow. Pepper and George are waiting for the seed to grow. It's not doing anything. <laughs> You'll have to be patient, Pepper. It will take a long time to grow. Pepper, George, it's time to go home. But we're waiting for my strawberry plant to grow. <laughs> I ordered strawberries for tea. Don't worry, Pepper. Next time you come, the seed will have grown into a plant. I will have strawberries. Yes. <laughs> Grandpa Pig looks after Pepper's strawberry plant. After many days, Grandpa Pig finds a tiny plant growing. Day by day, the plant grows bigger and bigger. Then one day, Grandpa Pig finds something very special. Strawberries. Grandpa, we're back. Pepper and George have come to play again. Grandpa, Grandpa, did my plant grow? Yes. Look. Ooh. Strawberries. <laughs> Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> Grandpa, can we plant something else? Yes. Now it's George's turn to choose. What would you like to grow? George has thought of something he wants to grow. Dinosaur. George wants to grow a dinosaur tree. <laughs> Silly George. Dinosaurs don't grow trees. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> Stop, Pepper. Vegetable peelings don't go in the normal bin. They go in this brown bin. Ooh, banana. That's right, George. It's a banana skin. And there are onions and carrots and all sorts of fruit and vegetable leftovers in here. <coughs> Granny and Grandpa will like these. Do Granny and Grandpa Pig eat potato peelings? <laughs> no, Pepper. They're for Grandpa's garden. They help his plants grow. Ooh. We can take these round there after lunch. Oh, goody. <laughs> Mummy Pig, Pepper and George are taking the vegetable peelings over to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> Grandpa Pig, Grandpa Pig, we've got a special present. 
present for you. Ah, vegetable peelings. <laughs> Fantastic. My garden will like these. Does your garden eat vegetables? Oh, oh, oh. no, Pepper. These peelings are for my compost heap. What's that? I'll show you. Here it is. It's a wooden box. Yes, Pepper, but it's a very clever wooden box. I put these peelings in the top, and then out of the bottom comes lovely rich earth called compost. How does it do that? Is it a magic box? Oh, no, Pepper. I've got some little friends that give it some help. Where? In here. <laughs> Look. Ah, wriggly worms. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> the worms turn all the fruit and vegetables into compost. What a beautiful butterfly. Grandpa, why do butterflies like flowers? They get their food from flowers. How? Oh. They have very long tongues. Longer than mine? <laughs> oh, yes. The butterfly's tongue is even longer than yours. She uses it to drink from the flower. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, Pepper, the butterfly thinks you're a flower. <laughs> I'm not a flower. I'm Pepper Pig. <laughs> 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 
She is so pretty. I want to be a butterfly. <laughs> Pepper is playing at being a butterfly. I'm a little butterfly. <laughs> George wants to play too. <laughs> George, I'm the butterfly. You have to be something else. I know. You can be a wriggly worm. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I'm a butterfly. <coughs> oh dear. George does not want to be a worm. He wants to be a butterfly. George, when I was a little piggy, I used to like playing at being a worm. It's very easy to be a worm. I'll show you how. First, you have to lie down on the ground. Then you wriggle around. Ha <laughs> ha I'm a wriggly worm. <laughs> George and Grandpa Pig are having such fun being wriggly worms. <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to read his newspaper. Ah, what a nice day for doing nothing. Daddy Pig loves doing nothing. Oh, goodness me, Daddy Pig. We've let the garden get a bit out of control. What do you mean, Mummy Pig? The grass. It needs cutting. Oh, I quite like it. It's the wild garden look. <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, come and play in the long grass. It's fun. <laughs> OK, let's all play with this spotty ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's it gone? The ball is lost in the long grass. Now we'll never find it. Hmm, maybe it is time to cut the grass. Yes, Daddy Pig. I'll get the lawnmower. I'm sure it's here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Daddy Pig has found the lawnmower. It's a bit old and rusty. Nonsense. It'll have the grass cut in no time. It does seem a bit rusty. Maybe I should phone Grandpa Pig and ask if we can borrow his lawnmower. Daddy Pig's lawnmower is not very good. Oh. George and I want to play cheeky snails. 
These baskets can be your shells. There. Now you look like two cheeky snails. <laughs> and I'm going to eat her all Grandpa Pig's lettuce. Oi! Keep off my lovely lettuce, you cheeky snails. <laughs> and when Grandpa Pig shouts at me, I'll hide in my little house. <laughs> <laughs> All of Peppa's friends are here. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Hello, Susie. Have you come to play with Peppa and George? Yes. I don't know where they are. <laughs> it's just me and these two snails here. We are cheeky snails. We are cheeky snails. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> we were pretending to be snails. <laughs> Can we be snails too? I don't think I have enough baskets for you all. Aww. You could be something else, though. Something exciting from the garden. A carrot? Rebecca Rabbit likes carrots. No, Rebecca, not carrots. Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> What's that buzzing sound? It's coming from that little house. Grandpa, why is that doll's house making a funny buzzing noise? That's not a doll's house, Peppa. It's a bee's house. It's called a hive. Ooh. Look, here's one now. <laughs> What's she doing? She's collecting nectar from the flower, and then she flies back to the hive to make it into honey. Grandpa Pig has come to see Peppa and George. Grandpa Pig! Grandpa Pig! Hello, Peppa and George. You're going to have your very own flower garden. Ooh, a garden for George and me. I've got a packet of flower seeds for each of you. <laughs> now, we need a nice sunny spot to plant your seeds. Here we are. Grandpa Pig is digging Pepper and George's garden. Oh! Ah, tea for the workers. Thank you, Daddy Pig. Uh, what's going on? We're making a flower garden. Do we need a flower garden? Yes! yes. But that's where I sit in my chair. There are more important things than chairs, Daddy Pig. But I always read my newspaper here. There are more important things than newspapers, Daddy Pig. Yes, like flowers. Look, Daddy. <laughs> Pepper has lots of flower seeds. George only has one flower seed. Oh. But it is quite a big seed. <laughs> Could you fetch us some water, Daddy Pig? Hmm. OK. Seeds need water to grow. They get very thirsty. Some little birds have come to watch. Don't let the birds eat the seeds, Peppa. Shoo! Shoo! Fly away, birdies! Here's the water. Daddy scared the birds away. Oh, ho, ho. Daddy Pig looks like a scarecrow. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa, George, bath time. Oh, but what if the birdies come back? Don't worry, Peppa. I'll make sure the birds don't eat the seeds. Thank you, Daddy. Good luck, Daddy Pig. See you tomorrow. Bye. <sighs> Hello! Brown!
green. Children. Granny, Granny, we found all the chocolate eggs. Well, where are they? I can't see any eggs. <laughs> They're in our tummies. And round your mouths. <laughs> <laughs> Did Grandpa hide the eggs well? No. We big ones found them easily. But the little ones needed helping. <laughs> George, Richard and Edmund don't like to be the littlest ones. Don't worry. There'll soon be even littler ones in the garden. Oh, yes. The little babies. It's so exciting. Grandpa already told us about the baby plants, Granny. But it's not that exciting. We're not talking about baby plants, Peppa. Oh, what are you talking about? Let's go and see Jemima, Vanessa, Sarah and Neville. They're chickens. Yes, and they have eggs too. Can we eat them? No, Freddy. These eggs are about to hatch. <laughs> oh, we're just in time. The baby chicks are hatching. Oh, baby chicks! Now the chicks have hatched, it really is springtime. Let's pretend to be baby chicks. <laughs> I'm a little chick singing cheek, cheek, cheek. I like to pick up food with my beak, beak, beak. I've a fluffy yellow head and straw for my bed. And I jump up and down singing cheek, cheek, cheek. <laughs> What a splendid picnic. Please may George and I leave the table and play with Zoe. Yes, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe, I've got my teddy. I've got my monkey. Oh, oh, oh. Dinosaur. <laughs> I've got a toy picnic set. Let's play picnics. <laughs> oh, it's the ducks. They always turn up when we have a picnic. We've got pretend orange juice and we've got pretend cake. <laughs> 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 it's pretend cake. It's very nice. Oh dear, I do not think the ducks want pretend cake. Oh well, that means there's more for Monkey, Mr Dinosaur and Teddy. Delicious. Oh, oh, oh. Monkey says, the best cake ever. <laughs> Peppa, George, home time. Bye-bye, Zoe. Bye-bye. Daddy Pig is in the garden, tending to his flowers and vegetables. There's some lovely compost here. This will help my vegetables grow big and tall. Now I should go and check on my flowers. Oh, don't they look fantastic? I'm really happy with how they look. Well done, Daddy Pig. Oh look, here comes Pepper and her friends. What are you doing, Daddy Pig? Well, Pepper, I'm growing all my flowers and vegetables. It's important that we grow fresh, healthy vegetables for us to eat. How do the flowers and vegetables grow, Daddy Pig? Well, they need light from the sun and water. In my wheelbarrow, I've got some compost. <gasps> I'm going to grow some carrots when I get home, says Rebecca the rabbit. Daddy Pig, 
Daddy Pig, what are you doing? Well, I'm checking on my beans. They're going to make a delicious soup. Daddy Pig, will you help me grow a flower for Mummy Pig? Of course, Peppa. That's a lovely idea for Mother's Day. Well, how do we start, Daddy Pig? I want it to be really big and pretty. Well, first, Peppa, we need to find some flower seeds. I think I saw a bucket of seeds somewhere in the garden. Oh, look, there it is. Yes, this will do nicely. What sort of flower seeds are they? These are sunflower seeds. They're also one of Mummy Pig's favourites. <gasps> okay, Daddy Pig, that's great. Can you help me? First up, Pepper, we need to put some soil into the plant pot. This will have all the nutrients that the sunflower needs to grow. Now we add the seeds. And then we need some water to make the flowers grow big and tall. I'm so excited! How long do I have to wait for the flowers to grow? <laughs> It takes time for things to grow. Ah, oh, I wish it would grow super fast. If you want it to grow big and tall, you have to water it every day. Oh, look, the flower is starting to grow. If I water it every day, I wonder how big it will get. Pepper is so excited. She can't wait for the flower to bloom. <gasps> Look, my sunflower's taller. I must go and tell Daddy Pig. Look, everyone. The beautiful yellow petals have started to bloom. It looks amazing. Daddy Pig, come look. What's that, Pippa? Oh, my. What a great-looking sunflower. Well done. You've done a great job. I'm so happy, I can't stop jumping. <laughs> You're so funny, Pepper. Wow, it's brilliant. It's as big and bright as the sun. Let's see if I can carry it. <gasps> Heavy. Maybe it's thirsty. I've come to look at your flower. Oh my, look how big it's grown. Mummy Pig will be so happy. I'm going to go and get her right now, Daddy Pig. Okay, Peppa, you go and get Mummy Pig. Here comes Mummy Pig and George. So, what do you want me to see, Peppa? Oh my, look at that beautiful sunflower. I grew it for you, Mummy. For Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. It's lovely. That's very kind, Peppa. Daddy Pig taught me how to grow. I guess I did, didn't I? A joint effort. Well done, Peppa and Daddy Pig. Right, let's see if we can get the flower out of the plant pot. It's really heavy. <laughs> Yay, we've got the flower out. That was hard. <laughs> I'm glad you like it, Mummy Pig. I love it. 